Hi, doctors on facmedicine.com. That's Faculty of Medicine. I am Dr. Apuro Bhopat from India. I have recently scored 261 on USMLE Step 1 examination. Now, let me put this very straight. If I can do this, you could be the next one to break the 260s on USMLE Step 1 examination. It is not hard, but it is just the matter of consistency and dedication. And I know you can do it. Just believe in yourself. Okay, so now this video is going to be a quick overview of my entire USMLE Step 1 journey. I'll be talking about resources and the NBMEs. Okay, let us just first talk about the resources because a good resource is the key and cornerstone thing for your good score on USMLE Step 1 examination. Now in my pre-dedicated period, that is my undergrad time of medical school, I had a good core basic science foundation from Kaplan videos, from my routine medical textbooks and from Dr. Najib. So these all things were very good for my good basic foundation and later on once I decided to give USMLE Step 1 examination, I started with UWorld. Now I did two passes of UWorld, the second pass was very crucial for me. In the first pass, I managed around 80 to 90 percentage, but the method by which I was solving UWorld questions was something very important. I would, I was doing in timed tutor mode. It doesn't matter if you are doing in timed mode or timed tutor mode, but I would definitely recommend to you by doing in timed mode if you are near the exam. So initially, I started with timed tutor mode, and I was very keen on observing each and every concepts which UWorld was explaining. I would just pick up the information and write all the concepts in my first state. So by the time I did my first pass of the UWorld, entire thing from the UWorld was jotted in my first state. So I had a full uh, first state annotated with UWorld with me. So that was kind of very helpful for me when I was revi revising first state because everything of UWorld and the connections and the important concepts were written in my first state. So first pass was definitely important but the second pass was very crucial for me because the second pass the way I, the way by which I did second pass was not routine. What I was doing I was not actually solving the questions but I was keen on picking up the key information from the, from the questions. For example if I am reading DNA replication from biochemistry I would just log into the UWorld and search and go to the search option. Now in the search option if you type DNA replication you will find all the questions related to DNA replication. So I was I was just picking up the crucial information from the uh, from the questions and I was just focusing on how this topic can be asked by the NBMEs, by the UWorld or by the USMLE Step 1 examination. Now what do I mean by the key information? Key information means for, for example how will they ask polyhydramnios? The question will say abdominal girth is larger than the expected. They would they would definitely not say uh, the patient is having polyhydramnios. You will have to figure it out. The question will state that the abdominal girth is larger than the expected. So focus on the keywords be it in the first pass of the UWorld or be it in the second pass of the UWorld. So picking up the keywords is very 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 crucial for solving and getting the cutting edge in the USMLE step 1 examination okay so by the time uh, when I did my first pass of the UWorld uh, I also started doing NBMEs guys this is very important NBMEs are the cornerstone of your USMLE step 1 preparation I cannot say to you how important NBMEs are because NBME is the only board who is going to conduct USMLE Step 1 examination. I solved all NBMEs right from NBME 11 to the NBME 24 but for me uh, NBME 18 and NBME 21 were most predictive. I was around 260s in NBME 18 and NBME 21. And rest of the NBMEs like for example NBME 22, 23, 24 my scores were around 250 so the NBMEs were under predicted by 10 from my real deal. Uh, what I would say about difficulty level for the real exam is comparable to NBME 18, NBME 21, UWorld self-assessment 1, UWorld self-assessment 2 and free 120. Okay, So these exams were alike the real deal of the USMLE step 1 examination. Okay, So this is how I used to do NBMEs. Now guys, this is the concept based MCQ test, the United States Medical Licensing Examination Step 1. This is not going to test micro details. 
so don't focus on micro details and how you li- how will you know that this concept is important you will only come to know by solving more and more mcqs so after you are done with first pass of the u world or maybe second pass of the u world i think it is good to switch to another question banks be it kaplan usably rx or emboss i did usably rx and emboss and i think emboss and usably rx were important because they were reinforcing the concept concepts which i already learned from u world okay so definitely i would suggest that you should pick up the another question bank if you are done with uh, u world okay and the average of emboss and uh, usmly rx and u world was around 85 percent and and my percentile were around 97 percentile and on the real deal i got 261 that was also around 97th percentile okay i was solving around uh, 40 questions on a good day maybe um and I was studying for around six to eight hours in pre-dedicated and around uh, ten to twelve hours uh, in my dedicated period. I had full three months of full dedicated period in which I was studying around ten to twelve hours a day, um, and in the pre-dedicated period I was studying six to eight hours a day. So, if I want to summarize this entire video, I would say: get a good core basic foundation, start solving U world. I know to your first aid, okay. Uh, if you are done with your first pass of the U world, start giving NBMEs uh, one NBME a week, okay. You have a lot of NBMEs out there. NBME 18 and 21 were predictive for me. Uh, give U world self assessment one, U world self assessment two, they were also predictive for me. If you are done with U world, switch to one other question banks be it usmly rx or emboss or kaplan it doesn't matter but do more and more questions more and more questions more and more questions as much as possible and finally the day before examination chill relax and slay the dragon now that was a real quick usmly step one journey let me know if you have any queries um, Thank you and have a great day and I hope you will do great and I wish you all the best. Thank you.